bonitas and welcome back to my channel so i know it's been some time that i do a sit down video i've been wanting to do more sit down videos but honestly sometimes i don't even know like what you guys want me to talk about um but right now today i'm bringing you a mommy related video um more relaxed here in my living room because girl i need to talk to you guys about this fourth month sleep regression and my postpartum hair loss, it has been real. So first of all, my postpartum hair loss literally started right at the three month mark. And let me tell you that I was low key, like sad about it. I wasn't depressed, but I was a little sad that like so much hair was falling out. Like I feel like my hairline is completely horrible. Like. I don't like putting up my hair up if I'm going somewhere because I feel like you can see like like my hairline is like all choppy and all over the place. Now, if you hear me like kind of talking low is because the baby's taking a nap. So, um, yeah, that's why. But yes, as soon as the three month kicked in postpartum, I one day I was in the shower and like so much hair started falling out when I was shampooing it and keep in mind I only wash my hair twice a week so even then like I would hardly have any hair fall out like yeah here and there when I'm brushing it but no like once I started seeing so much of the of my hair in my shower in my bathtub I was like, for sure, only twice a week I'm brushing, I'm washing my hair and I'm going to not try to brush my hair as much. I usually wash my hair and then right after I'll style it. Like, for example, yesterday was hair wash day. I let it air dry and then I styled it this morning. Um, But within the day I wash it and the next day I'll style it. That way it'll be good up until my next hair wash day. And I feel at least a little put together. Um, So... I started seeing, and right now that my hair is like copper, like you can straight up see like where my hair falls. So every time I brush my hair in between these washes, like I have to vacuum or my vacuum cleaner, even the roll was full of my hair. And I'm like, oh my God, like it's so sad to see my hair fall out. I noticed last night when I washed my hair was that it started being a little less so hopefully it's, you know, subsidizing. I've asked other mommies like how long their hair loss lasted and some told me up to three months. So I'm going to be bald by then if it continues. But let's cross our fingers that it does not like stay the same, like the same amount of hair loss. So I'm really praying for that. I haven't been too consistent with my placenta pill so maybe that's why and also with my vitamins i haven't been too consistent so i definitely that's one of my goals this year to be consistent with my vitamins and all the pills that i have to take so i can actually either uh, promote a uh, faster hair growth and i actually also want to try that uh, rosemary um tea in your hair to promote promote hair growth so if i do it i'll let you guys know and i'll bring you guys along as well but i've also been lacking with videos on this channel because let me tell you this fourth month sleep regression started in the late third month of my child's life so i was literally zombie mode last week and then the week prior to that i noticed she was like getting thrown off a bit and plus with the holidays throwing off her bedtime routine was a whole other show so i'm just like oh my god like what is going on this hair loss and my baby having like horrible sleep because you guys if you follow me on instagram you guys have always asked me like how do you get your baby on a sleeping schedule because my baby was sleeping through the night early on so for me well for us especially myself it was like a slap in the face to start getting up every two hours or she wouldn't even want me to put her down at all it was like what is going on like is something hurting her is she in pain is she getting sick no so um it started maybe like a week before because she turned four months on the 27th of december so she was already fussing even 
like a couple of days before Christmas. So that Christmas week and maybe like that week prior, she was kind of like, like I could tell that like something was throwing her off. And I was like, okay, maybe we've been out too late and we haven't stuck to her bedtime routine um, consistent enough for her to like realize that that's her routine again. So um, now that the holidays are over, we're sticking to her routine. But I noticed that she started getting a little bit better. I want to say this past weekend, today is Tuesday. So this past weekend, she's been a lot better. Um, but I honestly feel it's like not, maybe not sticking to her routine. And then we did switch her, her bassinet, um, her crib into our bedroom. <laughs> and there's Bonita. She wants to be in the video today. I feel like it's all these changes plus that sleep regression. And she was going through the fourth leap. I talk about leaps so much on my Instagram and I know a lot of you guys are not uh, like aware or know what those are. So I do, I did download this app called the Wonder Weeks and I didn't know about leaps. I didn't even know when she went through the first one until a friend, I believe, mentioned it to me. So I looked into it. I found the app called the Wonder Weeks and it explains to you what's happening within that time period and how long it's going to last. Uh, supposedly leap four lasted literally a whole month i do feel she was a little different this whole month um it's still not over yet i think she has like 10 more days to go but i feel like um she started earlier than the app said so that's why excuse me so that's why um i feel like she's already like at the end of it or she probably ended it because last night let me tell you she only woke up so we put her to bed at 10 and i think she was either like having a bad dream or she got like scared on her own and she uh cried like she was crying like sad crying and i was like oh my god what's wrong with her so i because because as soon as i picked her up she like knocked out like this so i put her back down she cried one more time did the same thing she knocked out like this put her back down and then she didn't wake up until, and this was around 10 p.m. And she didn't wake up until 4.30 in the morning. And then I uh, fed her, I put her back, and she didn't wake up until 8 a.m. So she's getting back to her regular routine where I can sleep and be a normal functioning human being. Because let me tell you, all last week and the week prior, because I was up every two hours every hour and 45 minutes ish um i would literally wake up really late we would both sleep in so in the morning i would bring her to bed i would be so tired so i would just nurse her in bed and then i would um we would just fall asleep we would just fall asleep together um or i can say kind of fall asleep for myself because if she's in bed with me i cannot sleep so last week that she had she had two nights that were just horrible like horrible like I felt like I had zero sleep my under eye my eye bags were like the deepest and darkest it ever been I feel like it was even worse than the newborn stage because I was so used to her already sleeping through the night so it was like crazy that it was like flipping on me so the two nights that were the worst um, one night I just couldn't handle it anymore because the previous nights were crazy. I was also waking up consistently. So the two, yeah, like two nights after that, like I was like, okay, I can't keep doing the waking up and getting up, waking up and getting up. So I gave in and I brought her to bed with me. We co-slept <clears throat> and I've never co-slept because I feel like it's so scary. Like I, I'm very scared of SIDS. So I'm scared that I'm going to squish her or that Peter may squish her or that I may squish her little arm, break her little arm, break a little finger. Like it's just so many things that I'm scared when Cole's sleeping. Um, and that's why the two nights that I did it, I had her on my side, not in between both of us. I had her on my side and like I was literally like this the whole time. And let me tell you, like I would doze off but I did not rest I did not sleep so and I actually would wake up let's say three four in the morning when she was like like dead asleep I would pick her up and put her in the crib and one night she stayed um maybe almost two hours after I placed her in her crib but it was already like 6 a.m so at, at that point I like told Peter go feed her and he was he picked up and he's like are you gonna breastfeed her I'm like no go get a bottle
as you can. Oh, that's my cue. I'll be right back. Okay, Bonita, so I am back with my child and Bonita's back there. Um, so she had woken up from her nap, which she actually slept pretty well. Keep in mind that I was not right there with her. Um, but I tricked her and I left her on our bed, knocked out. Um, so as I was saying, so Peter tried to bottle feed her, but because I breastfeed her the most, she's not too fond of the bottles, especially if she smells or senses me. <laughs> so um, he was able to only feed her a little bit and entertain her while he gave me some time to sleep. Um, once she was like fussy and like hungry, then like I'll wake up, I'll hear her cry and I'll wake up and then I'll breastfeed her. Um, but those days that, those days were hard. Like there's no tips or there's no tricks this time. There's nothing I can give you guys that can, um, help with the fourth month sleep regression. Um, one of my friends did mention to use, um, the lavender essential oils. I put a little bit in the Frida humidifier, I don't want to say it worked for her. Not even the calming lotion that would get her to sleep through the night worked either. It's just something that the babies have to go through. Um, I did notice that with this fourth leap, um, she did develop more like because these leaps are developmental. They'll learn how to do new things and acknowledge new things. <clears throat> And I can tell she's like way more alert. She is like starting to laugh. She screams now. I feel like she's trying to laugh, but it comes out as a scream and it's the cutest thing. She like has more facial expressions. She is acknowledging her feet now. So it's so many beautiful changes within these leaps. It's just can be hard on us as parents. I'm just glad that I was not working at the time while this is happening. And I do know that like there's another regression at six months and then another one between 12 and 14 months. So like they're going to keep coming and we're just going to have to keep adjusting. But I am I'm so happy with her. So like waking up in the morning and she's like the happiest baby ever um, is just so exciting. Like right now that she woke up from a nap, she's in like the greatest mood. She actually slept through without me being there and she fell asleep not while nursing so these are baby steps that we're taking because let me tell you i'm gonna start work next month and even though i'm gonna be home because i because i got a lot of questions i saying like oh my god are you you're gonna work or you work like asking me if i work yes yes i do work and it's my nine to five and um luckily i work from home so i'll still be able to care for her um hopefully it's not like too crazy because i've heard it's really hard to care for a baby and work but we'll see how that goes. If not, you know, I'll have to ask for help from um, my mom or Peter's mom. But luckily, Peter gets home early sometimes so he can clock in while I'm in my 9 to 5 clocked in. <laughs> so um, he'll have to pick up on that responsibility for a minute. But hopefully all of it, bless you, mama. Hopefully everything works out. So pray for me, bonitas. But um, yes, definitely, you know, pull. you're going to be able to pull through that sleep uh, regression. So don't be scared. Have a lot of patience because, man. And then if you need to wake up late and like leave the kitchen dirty or do the laundry at a later time just so you could take a nap during the day while they're taking a nap, do it because originally I was like, oh my God, I need to do this. And especially because it was around the holidays. I was like, oh my God, I need to finish this. I need to cook this. I need to have the house clean because I want to start the new year with a clean house. I was stressing myself out, but you know what? I did not mind waking up late or I did not mind taking that nap with her during the day or telling Peter like, here, watch the baby while I got to do my own thing. So don't be afraid to do any of that. So I think she's getting a little fussy because she might be hungry. So that is my cue to end this video right here. Thank you, Bonita, so much for watching. And let me know what else you guys want to know. I'm going to really try to stick to mommy content and cleaning motivation. And let me know if you want to do, uh, want me to do vlogs on this channel. Um, we do have a family channel and we're doing vlogs on there, but they're all in Spanish. Um, I, stopped on that channel for a minute while we were getting the sleep regression situated but we do want to start that as well but if you want me to do vlogs in english on this channel like mommy 
content day in my life so thank you guys so much for sticking with me happy new year happy 2022 let's get these goals and let's get it ladies so yeah say bye mama say bye bonitas thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on instagram bye